What's going on everybody? Rob here, Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Actually, I think I'm getting rid of that, Jack of All Trades, Master of None, because I've been on the internet as TREV2323. I explained to you why in a previous video, and if you Google Trim 23303, everything comes up. But what I'm here for today is, look, I got a package from Amazon. You know you all love those Amazon packages coming in. So, we're going to take a look at what it is, and it may be helpful to some of you, and some of you may be not. Like everybody, I would actually love to make my videos starting to look a little bit more better quality. But I don't, not only better quality, I want to be able to get my laptop screen where I could have it record just my laptop screen. And I don't have to put my camera in front of it where you see all those waves. And then put my big head in the side corner as I'm talking to you. One of the big things I want to do is show you my YouTube earnings and all that. It's not big, it's not extravagant, but to show you that, yeah, how I built it and the little bit of earnings that I am getting. Now, this right here is a M-O-S-O-U, a Musso, Musso, whatever. I bought it off of Amazon.com. And this is this was the missing link to my setup right here. This is a HDMI to RCA adapter. The HDMI goes in here and it adapts out to here. So let me move further back. HDMI to RCA cables, okay? And the missing link for me was my cousin, shout out to Sal DJ Low, gave me a Pinnacle Studio Box. The Pinnacle 4, this is the 14 Studio Box, okay? So what it could do is it could display your laptop on a different thing, a bigger screen, and then go back into the laptop. This is a lot for gamers. When gamers plug into that, they can plug their gaming system in the middle of that, from the gaming system to that, to the TV, but then that goes back to the laptop. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to capture my computer screen, and on my computer, all it is is an HDMI output. All right, one of the missing links to the system besides this right here is when you pull out your laptop and into the TV, most of the TVs do not have outputs on your TV. No outputs. But guess what has an output? A lot of people don't have them, especially you younger generations. The old VCRs have an output. They have an input and an output that is in the middle of the TV. So with this right here, your HDMI could be converted to go into your VCR. If you see down there, I have the RCA cables. Let me make sure you can see it. Let me, get it. Let me get it a little bit further down there. I have it plugged in the front. Okay. I have it plugged in the front. So what you would do is you get your HDMI adapter. Hopefully it works. Got my fingers crossed. Got my fingers crossed. This is an old TV. If it don't work on here, I could actually put it on something else. I cut my cable. So this is a Roku box right here. A Roku 2 on the top. And I cut my cable off. So this TV right here doesn't even accept regular airwave digital signals. So, okay, I'm plugging my laptop into there. My laptop is plugged into there. Okay. Wow, this is the uh, 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 ch charger or adapter. I don't know. I don't even know what this is for. Aha! This has to be plugged into the USB power supply. This actually needs a USB to power it. A USB power supply. All right, bear with me here, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so there's the USB power supply. Now I'm plugging my laptop. My laptop is getting plugged into this box right here. So my laptop is plugged into here, and actually my I got a little spinning signal, so saying that it did the same my laptop. From there, you look for your RCA cables, okay? So it's yellow, red, and then white RCA cables. Got my fingers crossed that it works. So now like I said one main thing why I wanted this was so I could actually record and show you when I use the uh, my green screen and all that, I can show you my green screen. Now for right now, I'm going to unplug the Roku to plug this in right here. Okay, so right here, I got my laptop plugged into the converter. 
plugged into the RCA cables. That converter on the side has a PAL and an NTSC. We'll see which one that uses. So the VCR does have to be on. And I turn on my old TV. You're like, man, that old man got that old TV. It still works. That's why I still got this old TV. And there is my computer screen right there. Now it don't look like a flat screen, it don't look really good. Let me see what PAL does if I hit the PAL. Nope, so it's NTSC. Okay, so here's the thing with this. How I get this to record on my laptop now, which is gonna be another video, part two to this, is you go from the output on the VCR into your pinnacle box, and then from in your pinnacle box, you go back into your laptop. All right, so that's gonna be part two. But either way, this is how to plug your laptop with HDMI into a TV with RCA. So my laptop, even if this was, well, we, a lot of the newer TVs got RCAs anyways, so this will show up really bigger on your regular, if you got the big flat screen, it looks crappy on this because this is an old tube TV, but I do have a little, a smaller laptop I can plug it into, but the VCR isn't on that smaller laptop. So VCRs, they're a thing of the past, but they have input outputs so you can use those. All right, either way, thanks for watching. I'll show you how to do my laptop next, so watch that video. I mean, how to put it in from here into my laptop. Okay, so I went ahead and I recorded uh, from Pinnacle. And the crazy thing is I did an eight minute video and I showed all my YouTube earnings and everything. And see the, the screen, the laptop screen is crystal clear. It's like a 1080 or whatever high definition. Well, the old tube TV is in high definition. It's like 26 years old, I think, or something like that. But either way, it... It recorded not what was coming out of the laptop right here it recorded the quality of the TV screen on the TV so you couldn't even make out the figures and everything so I got to reshoot that video so if you're gonna do this don't put it in an old TV just put it in a newer flat screen TV high definition all right stay tuned for the next video